Welcome to Schrodel TV. Here you can follow the key steps for maintaining your Schrodel valve. For long valve life and for your safety. Please pay attention to the danger and safety precautions in the maintenance and operating instructions for the product SUL. This can be found on our website in the form of a PDF file. By means of the nameplate on the valve, check to see whether you have the correct spare parts before removing the valve. You will need the correct type of valve and the correct K number. In the event that the nameplate is missing, the valve identification is stamped on the valve. During assembly, it is essential to use a new set of gaskets. The recommended spare parts are the set of gaskets and the complete bypass insert. First of all, the upper body must be removed. Extract all but two opposing bolt connections. Please observe the spring tension. Secure the upper body with clamping elements and release the remaining two bolts. Smaller valves can be secured easily by hand. Now lift off the upper body. First, remove the spring from the check valve and then examine it for any possible fractures. Now remove the check valve in upward direction. Control the seating area of the check valve. Then inspect the guiding surfaces of the check valve at the top and bottom. They must not show any signs of damage. If these surfaces show signs of minor damage, then they can be reground in accordance with the maintenance instructions. If they are severely damaged, then the check valve must be replaced. Please contact us in this case. It is essential to exchange the guiding rings. Now check the guiding surfaces of the check valve in the lower body. When necessary, minor damage can also be repaired by regrinding. The next step is to check the guiding surfaces of the check valve in the upper body. Check the smooth movability of the insert inside the housing by sliding the piston back and forth. Inspect the contact surface. In the event of damage, the entire bypass insert must be exchanged. With the aid of a hydraulic press, now press the bypass insert and the vortex bushing out of the valve. Check the smooth movability of the bypass insert by sliding it back and forth. In the event of stiff movement, the insert must be cleaned and, if necessary, even ground with grinding compound. Examine the surfaces for scratches or more severe damage. If there is minor damage, the seating can be reground according to the maintenance instructions. If there is severe damage, the complete bypass insert must be replaced. It is always recommended to have a complete bypass insert in stock. Should that not be the case, then please let us know the type of valve and the K number so that we can supply you with the correct insert. The order number of the valve and the label on the bypass spare part must always correspond. When the maintenance work is completed, assembly can begin in the reverse order. Take utmost care for cleanliness and make sure to install new gaskets. When installing EPDM gaskets, please do not use mineral oils and fats, but rather a silicon oil or a simple soap solution. Before assembly, an adhesive such as Loctite must be applied to the vortex bushing. For standard valves, make sure that the outlet borehole of the vortex bushing shows in direction of the bypass branch. By means of a hydraulic press, the cleaned bypass insert is assembled by pressing on the vortex bushing. To do this, use a suitable clean piece of pipe. Now insert the check valve and the spring. Finally, affix the upper body and tighten the bolts. Please pay attention to the alignment of the boreholes and the correct seating of the spring. As a part of the final inspection, check all bolted connections. 
the functional test of the valve is done together with the pump. Your Schrodel valve is now ready for long-term operation. If you have any questions, we look forward to hearing from you.